to a boat. Hello there, Judge. How are you doing today, little guy? Hmm? Huh? How are, how are you doing today? You doing good, man? You look good. You're looking handsome. The normal, though. Mm-hmm. He loves to empty the water bowl. Crazy. All the time, man. All the time. Come on, Judge. Let's go. Heel. Good boy. Good. We've started working, and he's doing good. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Uh, I was not planning on doing this video whatsoever, uh, but there have been a ton of you asking me on Instagram, on TikTok, here in the comments, on other videos, Bob, what was that duck you seen? So I did a bunch of research and I have been, and I think I figured it out. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you haven't, and there's still 60... 60 65 percent of y'all that have not hit the notification bell down there it'll notify you when your boy uploads it is hunting season don't miss these i got a ton of hunting content on the way if you're new to hunting i always am giving my tips trying to teach you guys what i know don't claim to be the best but i know a little bit that's why the channel is here to share my knowledge with y'all so if you haven't seen the video here you go look at that second bird what in the hell is that? What is that? It's got a black body with white wings. Oh, we're about to go look. Well, what do you think it was? What do you think it was, Judgy boy? What do you think it was? I don't know, Dad. Just throw me a ball or something. So, a lot of comments, uh, lots and lots of people. The big idea is that it could be a Muscovy duck, okay? And at first, when I Googled a Muscovy, because I kind of had an idea what they look like, but then I Googled it, I was like, no, definitely not. Because in the original video, you heard me say, uh, all right, well, I'm about to go check it out. Well, I did. Uh, by the time I came back, I did like an hour loop of scouting, driving around looking for teal. Not much luck. Uh, when I made it back, uh, they were only like 100 yards from the road. So it gave me a very, very, very good vantage point. I have a really good set of binoculars. So I got to scope them out really good. First of all, it is not a goose. That's for sure. It's not any type of breed of goose. That is for sure. It is a duck, very large duck, but a Muscovy. If you haven't seen a Muscovy, here's a Muscovy. All of the Muscovy pictures that I can find all have that like, you know, that turkey type of like red face beak. Not a normal duck or goose beak. You know what I mean? What I believe it was, was something more along the lines of this. By comparing all of the options, I really think that it was some sort of magpie. I think it was... All in all, I believe it was a farm duck. I don't think it was a hybrid that bred with a Canada or something like that. That's why it has a, a dark beak. No, it definitely was not goose, goosey, a goose at all. I can promise you that. That's why the wing beat in the original video is so fast. It's just a big duck. I know. Next question, and I guarantee you all are thinking the same thing. Why would that duck be with a flock of geese? Very easy answer there, guys. Right now, a lot of the flocks like that of honkers, um, they stop on ponds just like mine out back. And if I were to have farm ducks that use that pond, hey, old buddy, he probably just lifted up with the flock of geese. He's like, heck, I made me some buddies. I ain't leaving. He's now, he done became kind of wild. And as long as he stays with them, as long as he can keep up when they start migrating, that's the thing that I think about. What's gonna happen to that duck? when he can't keep up and when it's actually migrating time when they go sky high and 100 miles or something, right? I don't know. He might find him a pond and, or a city park and stop there and stay, who knows? But definitely, I'm not for certain that it was directly a magpie, but definitely, most certainly, some breed of farm duck. But I'm always open to other opinions, that's for sure, because I'm not 100% 
but I know I'm probably close. If you guys have a different idea or a better idea and, and you want to put it down in the comments, put it down there. Here's the video again. Look at that second bird. What in the hell? What is that? It's got a black body with white wings. Ooh, we're about to go look. Let me know down there. Let's get a conversation going. Let's hear your ideas. I'd love to hear them. Uh, it could be something. It actually could be a migrating bird of some sort. It definitely wasn't a Ross goose or a blue phased Ross. I've heard that and it, I can promise you it was not that. Um, but let me know. Well, it's hot. We are in the lodge, as you can tell. And I didn't want to. I was going to end the video right there, and I was like, man, that ain't right. Uh, one thing I want to show you guys, it's a flock of birds up here, all my mounted geese. I haven't got to show you guys. I've added like five more, and it looks incredible. But we are duh, most definitely going to have to hurry up because we have some guests on the way who are going to be staying the night here. So, First off, yes, if you are new, if you have never been here before or ever heard of my lodge, my hunting service, right there, Sand Hill Flyways, mm-hmm, this is it, y'all. But a lot of you have not seen it in a while. Check that out. All right, I'm gonna have to turn on the big light. Okay, now you can see it. Check, oh my God, I love it. Okay, check that out. Alrighty, we added that lesser, that snow, right there, that speck, this speck, right here. These new specks look crazy. Check out this speck. I haven't got to show you guys these yet. Uh, figured I'd just throw it in here for you. This is uh, sitting where we're going to be serving and kicking it, chilling, you know? And... And you're sitting here chilling with the boys you look up and check that out this guy here is just an absolute stud muffin jet black wings beautiful white tips on his feathers and it just keeps going y'all i think i'm gonna add uh, i think the direction i'm gonna go now is like out here fill this void so it looks like these birds are coming in so more of them kind of above the railing here but check that out. Freaking awesome. I'm loving it. Stud blue right there from last year. Check out that little beak on that guy. Stud muffin. Other than just cleaning the lodge and getting it ready for uh, all of y'all on YouTube, all of you father sons, all of you subscribers that have booked. It is amazing. We're on year three. So, if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, we do have availability left. We have a little bit of November availability, little bit of December, little bit of January, a little bit of February. So, across the board, all three and a half months that we run, we do have some room, but not a ton. It does not require eight people to book your hunt. Two. Two minimum. Up to however many we have room for y'all. So, if you're looking to be like one of these guys in, in the last uh, two seasons, we're going on our third. These are all groups of buddies, father, sons, father, son, grandfather, across the entire nation that we have had the opportunity to provide for. It's amazing. Very proud of what we built. Very proud of what we do on a daily basis when we're up and running. Oh, I got to show you this one too. If you're interested in booking, go to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the inquiry to book form. The link is always, every single video I upload on YouTube, it is always linked down in the description below. It says, book your hunt with me here. Fill out that form, make sure your phone number is correct, your information, we do not share any of that info, so don't worry about that, it's just ours. But we'll be getting a hold of you to see if we can work something out. Yeah, check this out, this is Aaron's. Y'all remember A-Dub? He's a guy here at Sand Hill, and uh, man, he'll be here 
in about a month. That is crazy. But with the big light off, man, it really sets the mood. I'm ready for everybody to be in here. I'll give you a quick walk through if you haven't seen it. Changed a few things. This is really cool, something I haven't showed you. Uh, this is a plaque that we got from uh, the Legion Snipers at the 5th Special Forces Group Airborne. We hosted them last year and that was for special op excursions and um, just amazing. Amazing what we've, what I've built. I can't believe it. And so many people that want to come, and so many people that are coming again. But I'm not going to waste any more of y'all's time. I got to go scouting some dove. I got to go scout some teal. I got to get a hunt lined up for the morning. Thank y'all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Remember, 60% of y'all have not hit the notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. It's hunting season. Don't miss them. All of you beginners, I give you my tips every single hunt. What I think you need to hear or what I learned that day. I leave, I come back home, and I share it with y'all. So, thank y'all for being here, but until next time. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Gotta go.